Okay, so that was from uh, Laurie Frink's Integrated Warm Up. It's a fantastic um, set of routines. It's slightly more of a warm up, uh, and we'll be getting into that at a different time. But that's not what we're here about today. What we're here about today is um, support, and the reason why I chose that uh, little exercise, the demonstration, is because I believe that um, our air support really, really helps with obviously no bending and everything we play but it's a really really good way to learn about how to um uh, manipulate or focus um or understand our air support and play on trumpet and probably other instruments as well but more so about about on the trumpet so the reason why i'm doing this video specifically is that and getting a couple of new students, like beginners from scratch, both young and um and older older students, not everybody has the immediate connect with actually blowing through the instrument, um and supporting the sound. So you would get this type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> so if anyone's just jumped into this video, they'd be going, "What's going on there?" But but yeah, so they they've not really got a natural connection with the air being held or released from the body through the embouchure and through the instrument to actually create a steady note and quite often you can get quite a quavery sound or wavery, or wavery sound when when you're trying to sustain long notes as well so i suppose what i got to thinking was was how do i demonstrate that how how do i let a student know what it is that i'm doing and obviously, um, in this day and age, you know, it's really awkward with it in terms of like someone putting their hand on your stomach or that type of thing. But even still, then they can't feel what I'm feeling in the inside when I'm compressing. So here's the point of this little study or this little exercise. I'm going to stand up and move back a little bit. Apologise about the backdrop again. I've not got a black curtain yet. I'm going to get to it. What I've been trying to ask, what I've been trying to ask my students to do is, I may have to turn the mic up and flight. This is totally unedited. It's going out as you see it once it's finished. Um, what I've been asking my students to do is, with their left hand, have their left hand, this area here, okay? We are more so that kind of area. So my belly button's about here. I feel my sternum's about here. In here is where I feel my support, okay? So... When I breathe in, I'm breathing into a slightly, I'm breathing into a slightly more um, firmed area, you know. So it's like if you're trying to like make a six pack appear, like really crunching down, then you're doing way too much work. So what I've been trying to say to my students in terms of getting an idea of what is the right amount of compression for the most basic amounts of support. Because I believe and feel, somebody put in the comments, please, if you if you feel otherwise, that even the most soft and lowest notes, whatever we want to think about it, require a degree of compression. Otherwise, we're not really in control of the air. And there's other factors I appreciate that come into controlling our air. So when we breathe in, or rather before we breathe in, Push your hand just lightly against your chest. Now you should actually feel that already in your voice when you're actually thinking about how this ear is going to interact with your instrument. So if you've got that already pressed against your hand, trying to think about moving your ear, taking your ear in down to where your hand is, okay? Trying to keep your shoulders down. And so it looks like this. My shoulders go up, but that's because everything's expanding onto a compressed area. So what you should feel, if you keep your hand pressed against your diaphragm area, not want to get too technical, if you feel your air starting to, or your tummy rise towards your hand and you push back against it, you're going to start pushing back against your hand. That's naturally what you want to do, or at least with, as with me anyway. Again, give me comments there. So... What what we want to learn from that, the more we do it, is... I'll do this with the trumpet next. Oh, shoot. I don't have my HDMI key from my a, from a, a regular camera, so I'm using the, the standard webcam. If you learn to breathe in... I think I'll do it this way. If you learn to breathe in with the instrument... So hand, 
don't need to know you don't need any valves just hold the trumpet hand on your diaphragm area taking a little breath and breathing pushing your hand before the breath against your diaphragm and a little breath there <laughs> You get a sense of what compression is, or at least I do. So that's pretty much it. To summarize the thoughts in this, take it if you're if you're unsure about compression, you're trying to learn or get a little bit of a better handle on compression, put your hand against where the diaphragm roughly is. So the best way I can describe that for me is kind of between my belly button. And where my the, the, the bottom of my rib, rib cage is, down up here, isn't it? Bottom of the rib cage is. And that area there, you just want to push your hand slightly against. When you breathe in, try and think about breathing in towards your hand. And you should feel that that little resistance there between your hand and your body wanting to um, expand outwards down here. Not this. Not doing that. Just breathing in towards the hand. That will start to give you something to push against. And it's that push. It's that push against this area here that sets up the basic com basic compression. For everything else to be doing in terms of like loud notes or high notes or, or whatever you want to think about, the, the compression can change throughout the whole body. Okay, But the basic setup is this area here. For me, just pressed against and a little breath in. <sighs> And that's it. And of course, the next part of the component is what we do with our aperture and our embouchure here in terms of trying to um, control the airstream and our tongue position and everything else. Did anyone say mad, Joe? No. Okay, so that's it. And I'm going to press stop now and upload this video. Please pop me a little message if you um, want me to go into this further, more in-depth video or such. And cheers. Thanks. Bye.